Egan, no. <laughs> All right, we, we've got we've got Andy Vernon with us today, health secretary. A new day, a new secretary of state. It was Ed Ward's yesterday. Uh, we've just been talking football. So before we come on to the great uh, Liverpool versus Everton versus Gloucester City debate, we've had a good few chats about Gloucester City. We have indeed. And the need to bring them home, which is one of the things that we want to do. We've just been across the road here to the new hospital extension, 30 million quid's worth. It's looking impressive, and also we've just seen some uh, stats that Kieran's just showed me, saying that uh, um, in 1997, 22,000 people were waiting for more than six months for their operation. Uh, Health Secretary, do you know how many there are now in the southwest of England waiting that long? Well, I hope it's a big fat zero, but... Yeah. It is, it's a big fat zero, it's nothing. How's that happened? It's happened by investment, hasn't it? And um, proper um, care for our National Health Service. And my dad had a heart bypass operation in Liverpool not so long ago. Uh, and he got in within a matter of a few weeks, not just because he's my dad, but because that's the waiting list now. And I checked through the Department of Health for the waiting list for heart bypass operations before Green Hospital Liverpool 10 years ago, uh, 15 years ago. Two years people were waiting. And I just think of this election, we just have to remind people about the unbelievable change that there's been in the National Health Service. How many people in those days never got off those waiting lists because, sadly, they, uh, they didn't make it. You know, this is a major change and we should be very proud of it. So the message is, here in Gloucester, vote Labour, keep the investment coming in. One last thing. How are, how are Everton going to do next season? Then? <laughs> <laughs> the On the top! We are led by a determined and steely and uh, gritty winning Scotsman like our great party of ours. And uh, I think uh, both, uh, both are destined for great things. Now, I'm not going to say anything bad about Everton because one of my activists there in the corner is an Evertonian. So um, maybe he'll be right.